Hello everybody, this is Bat Blast, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and it's our Chester Zoo build and the last time that you were here we built the tropical house or rather we built the inside of the tropical house um, and we, we did a, a really good job of that, didn't we? It was a good, good, good build. We were really pleased with that. Hello, where are you going? Um, since then I have actually built the next bit and I... Um, I'm going to build the eye, eye um, which is the uh, the enclosure at the back um, through the doors. And as you can see, you you might be able to see there's a little bit of uh, infrared lighting and things going on in there already. That's because I've just finished building it, and I didn't do an introduction before I started. So here's the introduction. Now I'm going to put you onto the build, and then at the end I'll do a little walkthrough. I'll see you then.
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the build there. It's um, It was a really interesting build. There's some really tricky bits, but I, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's um, it's a great looking area. So let's do a, a little bit of a walkthrough. So you come through this. This is actually like one of those uh, cloth type doors. Um, keep the, the light and dark areas separate. But here we are in the corridor with um, the viewing ports to the II and at the moment of course no II in the game so um, part of this area has been used in the past for white faced capuchins so that's what we've put into there and um, we, so we've got the inside looking like the II bit which would normally be all dark in there with infrared lighting uh, and the outside is more for the capuchins but we've uh, we managed to do the area so that we can keep capuchins in it and as you can see they're wandering about uh, quite happily uh, the glass needs fixing but we'll uh, we'll get a mechanic onto that so uh, the left hand room is primarily for uh, bits of food and the uh, in and out bit to get to the outside section and then on this side we've got some water and a bit more food and the other two are currently in fact that's a window into the same area but this one's currently empty there's nothing in there it's too small an area to do anything with through this door is um, the generator which um, is great it, it runs the entire tropical house which was behind there and then if we walk out now on the right here, uh, I believe this is a, a parrot enclosure. So I'll do something with it. I'll put some glass in there. We'll we'll have uh, some trees and things in. Maybe some sort of representation of a parrot in there as well. And on this side we have what is now a capuchin area. So in the actual zoo, it's it, it's really an II section in there um, with this outdoor area for capuchin monkeys. I believe, I mean, you, you you know, there will be people who will uh, will tell me exactly what's going on with this area, and that, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I like to know uh, when I've got things a little bit right. <laughs> um, what we also did was uh, we built this fantastic uh, little fence that's quite a, not awful lot of wood for a short fence. I mean, there's, there's about seven elements there, you know, three at the bottom, four, five, six, seven pieces of wood when really you know a two or three bar might have done there but it's that's the way it is that's what it looks like um but i i think that it looks really really good the other good thing about it is we've managed to retain the boat ride so the boat ride uh, still works in there it, it isn't currently running because there's no power to the station and in fact uh, i'm not convinced i've finished the other end of it i think i need to put a, a loop thing on the on the other end but overall um the areas look really good it's double walled of course so it's dark on the inside but it's it's white on the outside as the actual zoo is and the capuchins seem to be very happy out here so there you go uh, and they can even come round the side as they can in real life and there are no issues i actually thought that they'd uh, probably be able to jump onto the roof and escape but actually no issues um this is a um, an enclosure that you can use for animals as you can see they're quite happy in there and they 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 aren't escaping through the scenery uh, as uh, they do in some of the other enclosures so there you go um i'm really pleased with it i think it's a great addition to the zoo and um i, th I think it, it looks absolutely fantastic it looks really really good compared to how the actual area is so there you go i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you join me for the next one i don't know what it'll be but it'll be chester zoo again next monday my name is Backblast. I'll catch you next time.